Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel. How y'all doing? Most High Christ blessed. I'm Captain Dakar. This is an opportunity for us a chance to speak to you with 15 minutes with the captains. On my right, I have Officer, Officer Yehiel. And so we're glad to have y'all here, Israel. We're glad to be able to do this class with you. And the thing that strikes me that's really important is that once you've been in the truth for a while, one of the things that I notice that our body or that the people struggle with in the body oftentimes is that they don't know how to forgive. And that, that, that can be something that maybe from their history, it could be something that they just had never learned. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about it. Because if I was out in the world and I'd done something to somebody or I bumped into somebody or said something wrong and the truth came out on that matter concerning, I would say, my bad. Sorry about that. And I would try to get it right with that person. So we're going to see what we need to do about in Israel when it's your bad, how you can fix those things. Let's go to the book of uh, 1 Peter, chapter 2 and 1. Let's start there. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. Right. When you come into the body like that, you don't know the righteousness of the Most High. You have to learn these things. Read on. As newborn babes. That's what you are. You just knew, and in, in, in you coming in Israel, you don't know how to handle or for, learn how to stop speaking evil against somebody or having something in your heart against somebody that has done you completely wrong. You don't know that thing. Read on. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. And that's what's going to help our people. It's going to be the word that's going to change them. It's going to be the word that's going to correct them. It's going to be the word that's going to build them up. That's what we need to happen. Read on that ye may grow thereby. And that's the purpose of it. We want to see our people grow. So this might be a, a help for the some, and hopefully be a help for many. But oftentimes, there again, in the body, you find our brothers and sisters struggle with the, the, the spirit of forgiveness. Let's go on. Let's go to the book of Ephesians 4 and 31. The book of Ephesians, uh -huh. chapter 4, verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. That's the same thing that Peter was talking about. Now here it is written again that that matter should be taken from you as a sincere babe in Christ. It's one that's coming here and getting their mind right. They begin to know what to do, keeping the Sabbath. They know the modern superior. They know the fring fringes of these laws. And they begin to apply themselves. But it says you need to do what? Read it from the top again. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And that is to show you that's the spirit of a carnal spirit. All these things are carnal to a brother or sister that's in the nation of Israel. But the Bible says that we have to put these spirits away from us. How do we do that? What are we to do? Let's continue on. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 12. And begin uh, at verse, officer, at verse 19. 12 and 19. Let's start at 12 and 19. Let's see what it says. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 19. Uh -huh. Dearly beloved, 
avenge not yourselves. So when you have issues and challenges in the body, the Bible tells you you're not to avenge yourself. You're not to fix the matter. Why? Read on. But rather give place unto wrath. Let the, the place have its course. Let it run its course. There's a reason why God said, let me have this thing. Read on. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So the matter is to the Lord. The Lord is going to defend you. So when you're in a place, in a position where you're dealing with a brother or sister, perhaps offense may have came. But the matter is, is that the Most High is allowing us to work things out. And here, the Most High is our defender. He's the defender of wrongdoing. Read on. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, if your brother or sister have a problem with you, read on. Feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heat coals of fire on his head. I like this thing, this precept here, because it's telling me that you still have to love them without a cause. You still have to love them when you've been treated wrongly. You still have to love them because they done, you said that, you know, the matter is that, you know, um, you may be struggling with unforgiveness, but you know what? He still lets us know you need to deal with your brother and sister right. And that's the thing that I like about this. Read on, there's more. Be not overcome of evil, uh -huh. but overcome evil with good. So still deal with your brother and sister right. Because the Bible is going to teach us and help us and guide us into doing what's right when it comes to doing the will of the Most High. There's more, there's more. We're going to go to verse, uh, let's keep it moving. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8 and 9. Back to 1 Peter. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Mm -hmm. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. That's the spirit that we must have. The other spirits, it was telling us that we have to put away from us. But this one right here is telling us this is what we need to put on. Read that from the top again. Finally, be ye all of one mind. Having compassion one of another. Right, because you being long suffering, you being patient with somebody that it, that may need to be you may, may need to be long suffering with, because the person is may have done something they didn't, or perhaps they did. But the matter is that we need to be patient with one another. It's talking about that here. Read on. Love as brethren. That's what you want to do. Love as brethren. Take our time with your brother. Get to know them. That's what it's talking about in the Bible, that we need to learn how to uh, get, get to know one another. That proving one another, that's the thought that I had. We have to learn how to prove one another. Take our time for that person. They've been in the body, you've been in the body. Just don't, just don't take it for granted, just shalom the brother, shalom the sister, and that's it. No, get to know them. They got a family. Perhaps they have children. Get to know them, take out time for them. Read on. Be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering Evil for evil. That shows the spirit of the Most High. Read on. Or railing for railing. You don't want to go back and forth with them. Well, you did this to me. No, you did this to me. Don't do that thing. The Bible said not to do it. That's what it was talking about in the book of Romans. That we're not to avenge our own selves. Read on. But contrarywise, blessing, knowing that ye are there unto call, that ye should inherit a blessing. That you should inherit a blessing. That what? That you may grow together. That you and the brother and this or the sister begin to grow. That y'all find out that y'all going to be long-suffering to one another. You're going to be pitiful to one another. You're going to be showing compassion to one another. You're going to be brothering in this gospel. So with that, let's continue to move on. Give me Sharak 28, verse 1 and 2. In the book of Sharak. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that oftentimes I do hear and I do see brothers and sisters, they struggle with the art of forgiving. They don't know how to forgive. Because why? They still bit about some things. Yes, that's what it said. It said all those things are supposed to be put away from you. You still harbor in the spirit of malice. You can't forgive. There's some things that's hindering that spirit. Read what you got, Austin. The book of Sirach, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh huh. He that revenges shall find Vengeance from the Lord. So here it is that you are trying to avenge yourself. But the Bible says that you're going to find vengeance from the Lord. Read that from the top again. 
He that revengeth uh -huh. shall find vengeance from the Lord. Because the Most High said vengeance is his. You're not to take matters basically in your own hand. That's what he's saying. Read on, verse 2. And he will surely keep his sin in remembrance. Forgive thy neighbor. Right. Say that, say that part again. Forgive thy neighbor. That's what we must learn how to do. We must learn how to forgive one another. My bad. We say it all the time when we do wrong. But here the Bible is telling us the same thing. Read that from the top again. Huh? Forgive thy neighbor Read on. the hurt that he hath done unto thee. And that's what it is. Some of these matters when you deal with brothers and sisters, they do hurt. The Bible said they're going to hurt. It stings sometimes. I get it. I've been stung too. Read on. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. So you want to be forgiven when you do something wrong to somebody. You want them to forgive you. So that's what the Bible is talking about, that we are to forgive one another. That's what it's talking about, putting all this evil speaking away from you. Hold that, hold that. Give me Matthew 6 and 14. Let's go there. Let's see what Christ said about that thing. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 14. Uh -huh. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Listen to what it just said. It just said the same thing over again. If somebody does something or cause a hurt to you, if you forgive them, the Most High is going to forgive you. It's the same matters, brothers and sisters. This is an area where spirits struggle at. They struggle with this. They do. Because somehow they're thinking that um, they're right in their own mind or, or that they don't see the hurt that they've done to somebody else. But the offense has already happened. You have already caused them to be hurt. It said that, you know, some of these things is going to hurt. Read that from the top again, huh? For if ye forgive men their trespasses, mm -hmm. your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So if you forgive them, hey, I know you do, hey, hey, you said my bag, I got it, bro. We're going to work this matter out. Hey, it's between me and you. The matter is just between us. And you know what? You came to me with it. You found, I found out that <clears throat> I offended you and I had done it wrong to you. We got this matter worked out. So now I'm in a place where I can forgive you of my tr trespass towards you. Why? Did, read it from the top again. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Because most of us need to know that the Most High wants to forgive us of our transgressions or the things that we have done wrong to him. So with that, there's some more. There's a little more. Stay with us, Israel. There's a little bit more. That there's a little more on that. Bring it out then. Huh? But if ye forgive not men their trespasses. But if you hold back and say, nah, 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 nah. I, I don't think I've done nothing wrong. I'm good with that thing. I didn't do nothing wrong to them. Nah, you just don't know what they did to me. Read on. Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. See, now you can't be forgiven for what you've done wrong. We're going to touch on that some more, though, officer. We're going to get it. We're going to get that. I'm glad you brought that out. We ain't done with that yet. I tell you what, go hold that, drop that. Let's go up to Mark 11 and 25. The book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 25. And when ye stand praying, forgive. That's where, it, that's where it should happen. It should happen. You should learn how to, because when you start stand, when you start praying, you already should have already forgiven your brother or sister. Because he said, don't even bring this thing before me if you hadn't taken care of uh, the matter with your brother or your sister. Read on. There's more to it. And when ye stand praying, forgive. Uh -huh. If ye have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespass. It's the same matter, Israel. You can be forgiven for those things that you've done wrong. You can, you can build a relationship. You can build a, 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 a relationship that can last real long through just building respect and honor, being pitiful, long-suffering, compassion one toward another. You can be building a relationship with somebody that is a lifetime relationship just by finding out that you can forgive your brother or your sister. Let's get Colossians 3.14. A little more on that. Just a little more on that. Because what happens a lot of times... Um, Brothers and sisters do have things that come about. They do. And what happens is that the matter comes and it goes into the whole sincere part of the Bible where it just talks about that the Christ forgave me. So if Christ forgave me, there's no way I can walk the earth and not forgive. 
Is it sometimes hard? Yes, it is. It's said that sometimes when people do things to you, it hurts you. It's not that you can't do it, but sometimes it does hurt. What I got you holding? 314? The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 14. And above all these things, put on charity. Show love toward one another. That's what we need to know, that the Most High loved us, that he gave his only begotten son for us. In doing that, he loves us. So put on that charity that he showed for all of us. Read on. Which is the bond of perfectness. Which is the bond of perfectness. Read on. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. That's where you want the peace of God to rule at. Because you know that you're, you're clear and you, you know that your spirit is right. That you're not holding no arts against nobody. You're not holding that, you're holding that thing against... Um, Let's go there. You're not holding against your daddy for the last year, for the years because you hadn't seen him. You're still holding that. It's bringing on bitterness. You know, you got you got bitterness. You got malice in you. You're still holding on because your dad wasn't around. But the Most High is going to raise you up and get you to understand and have a love for your father if you be patient. Read on. To the which also ye are called in one body, and and be ye thankful. And be ye thankful. Uh, give me, let's go to the book of Matthew. Let's go back to Matthew. I think we was there earlier. Yeah, we was there earlier. Let's go to Matthew 6. We're going back there again. Matthew 6. That's something I want to touch on. 6.14 again. Uh, 6. Let me get it with you, uh, uh, officer. 6 and there's something. Okay, there's real. Here we go. Um, Go up to verse, verse 9. Let's touch on verse 9. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. Uh -huh. After this matter, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now you're praying to God. I'm praying to the Father. Help me, Father. Hallowed be thy name. Read on. Thy kingdom come. Read. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Read on. Give us this day our daily bread. So, Lord, I need you to give me my daily bread. How are you going to feed me? Read. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Make sure that you are dealing with your brothers and sisters properly and dealing with them right. That's what you must do. That's what you have to do. That's what we understand. This is a prayer that we have to forgive one another. This is how the most I want this done. Read on. And lead us not into temptation, uh -huh. but deliver us from evil. This is what they're going into. Railing from railing, evil for evil. We're not to do that thing. Read. For thine is the kingdom. But this is the reason why. Read on. And the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> Read on. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, uh -huh. your heavenly Father will also forgive you. That's the matter. It's about forgiveness. This is what I want Christ and the Father to do for me, is to forgive me of my trespasses. That's why I want to forgive my brother. That's why I want to forgive my sister of their trespasses against me, that I may be forgiven, that the Most High will hear me when I send up prayers before him. Let me go somewhere right quick. Hold that. Let's go to Psalms 103 and 12. Psalms 103 and 12. Read that for us also. 103 and 12. We're getting that, saints. The book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 12. Uh -huh. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. When he forgives us those things that you did, read that from the top again. We need to let that meditate a little bit. Read that. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. That's how far the transgressions is removed from you. As far as the east is from the west. The Most High is not holding nothing against us. He allowed us to be the new creature that he called us to do. To be. Let's get that right quick in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. I want to talk about it. Because the, the forgiving part is what we struggle with. I just see that that's where when it, the matters come, that's where the matters is struggling in. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, read that. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Uh -huh. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, now that you came, you understand that you are in Christ. How should I move in Christ? Read on. He is a new creature. Don't act like the old person that you were, that you didn't know how to forgive. 
Don't know, don't do that. Now that you know how you should conduct yourself, read. Old things are passed away. Let that stuff go. All that bitterness, that malice, that envy, that strife, that unforgiveness. Let those matters go. You are a new creature in Christ. And the Bible tells us such. Read on. Behold, all things are become new. And now you're a new creature in Christ. Yes, earlier we said that we're, we're new babes in Christ. But in that, there should come a point where you become and begin to get built up, become that new creature in Christ, where you can, can learn to forgive your brothers and your sisters. With that, Israel, we're going to let you know we talked about it, and we'll say it again. A lot of times we deal with one another, and we'll be quick to deal with brothers and sisters out there, and we say, oh, my bad, I forgive you. But we got to learn how to forgive one another, and it's truth, too. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.